Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Um, something about the Ace of Spades. For them that seen the performance, thank you very much. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, how do you do it? Well, you use four cards. Have them on the top of the packet if you want. Um, two jokers, the Ace of Spades, and any other card you want to use. I obviously wanted to use me little Queen of Spades. Um, you're set up, you put your ace of spades down, your chosen card, and then your two jokers. So your two jokers are on the pack, followed by your card, followed by your ace of spades. I'm going to show you a little trick, or something fun, or whatever you want to say. Um, in the performance, yeah, I took the cards off the top of the packet because I needed the ace of spades. That's the important one, it's the one you've got to follow, or something like that. Now I'm going to give you little bullet notes, so get a pen and a piece of paper pause me get a pen and piece of paper oh mighty that took you a long time didn't it um yeah so write down the order now the first bullet note you want to write down is Elms recount, turn top card. Okay. So you're doing the action and then what you, what you got to do. So Elms recount, turn top card. They've got to keep their eye on the ace of spades. Come up with any dialogue you want. We'll reverse the cards and you're doing your Elms recount, bringing the ace back to the top. Where's the ace of spades? They're going to say on the bottom, you're turning the top card. I'll show you it again. Again, next bullet note, Elmsley count, turn top card. You do another Elmsley count. I'll put the ace down to the bottom. Nice and fair. And where's the ace of spades? They're going to say it's on the bottom. You turn in the top card. You reverse count them this time, making it look like an Elmsley count. Say, I'll give you another chance. If it moved the ace of spades from the top down to the bottom, Where's the ace of spades? This is a hopefully a case of twice bitten, third time. God, I've run a mile. It's on the top, so you're trying to buff them. So keep mentioning about the bottom or try and persuade them in a nice way that it should be on the bottom. And they're going to go, It's on the top because you're trying to force them to pick the bottom. You see what I mean. I've fooled you once, it's once, I've fooled you twice, I'm fooling you the third time. They're going to say, or oh, you, right, they say, it's on the top. You don't do what I just did and show the top card. I just wanted to show you my little lady again. You actually show them the bottom card. No, it is, it's on the bottom, right where we said it was going to go. Um, so you've had the reverse count, show bottom card. So you do your reverse count, you show the bottom card. Next bullet note, Elmsley count, double lift. So you do an Elmsley count. Where does that put the ace of spades? Catch a break on that second card. But don't let them answer this. Where do you think the ace of spades is now? Don't let them answer. They might say the top. If they do, well, gone. Where do you think the ace of spades is now? Well, I'll tell you, it's on the top. Get it done before they get a chance to say, yeah, it's on the top. So, um, Elmsley count and double, you got that. Next bullet note, top card to bottom, and top card, turn top card. Right, so, I'll put the ace of spades to the bottom. Where's the ace of spades? Yes, it's still on the top, turn it over. Next bullet note, top card, second to bottom. So, pinky pull down, put it second to bottom. Catch a break underneath it, so push it up when you're pushing it in, and triple lift. So second card, uh, top card, second to bottom, triple lift to show the ace of spades. Um, I'll put it onto the table. Just take the top card and put it down. So table, top card to table, and do a double lift. Ace of spades, nice and easy. Reverse count, 
double lift. If you've just seen it on the top, we'll put the ace of spades down to the bottom. Where's the ace of spades? You double lift. Oh, didn't catch me break as I should have done. Double lift. There's the ace of spades. Um, we'll lose it into the middle of the packet. Don't say in, in between them. Say, I'll put this into the middle of the packet. Makes it sound like there's more cards. Where is it now? So, top card, middle, and turn top card. Take next bullet note, double to bottom. So, you're taking the double off the top and putting it to the bottom, saying you're putting the ace to the bottom. <coughs> <coughs> And then you do a double, I'm just single, do a double lift to show it on the top again. Top card to table, top card, turn top card. Now this thing I call a switch flip. You're going to, you've just shown the ace on the top, turned it over, you're going to pull the bottom card out and use it to flip the top card as you come away. Done nice and quick and smooth, you should get away with it. If we put the ace onto the table, it's too late, it's already happened. Put it on the top, pick them up. Next bullet note, split into two and put the top to the bottom. Right? So split two and two, top to the bottom. Um, no ace of spades, do a frustration count. To show four of your card. Um, this is a thing I, I call a back peel. Because um, you've just done your frustration to show the four queens. You're going to pick the cards up to show a joker. And as you're coming down, you're just going to pull the, the back card with your thumb over so as you come down and you get to about there you can take it and put it down and it doesn't look too suspicious just as long as you get the face of that out of the way you're going to come down again and pull the back card with this thumb in and push the block over um, to show another joker and then do the exact same movement again then use last card to scoop right so Last card to scoop. Do another frustration count. Again to show the four jokers. Then you can turn them over without them splitting and put them down. And there you go. That's just, it's my little variation on the something trick. Which you already should know. You should know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And... I'll see it again soon.